mein Lippe, hast du es ab? Ich mein Lippe, alles gut. Ah, du hast die Jacke, dann bitte ist mir alles gut. Welcome back to my channel, everybody. It's your girl, Felicia. With the P. Okay. Um, I look so tired because I am. Y'all like the hair? It's just the normal bob, the bob I always be wearing. It ain't new. Okay. But, like I said, welcome back to my channel. So, before we get started, make sure you subscribe and join the family. Um, I put out videos when I can. You know, I'm on that CPT. And I, oh. And yes, we're talking about nipple piercings. As you can see by the title. Title, obviously, this right here. So, let's get started. Um, this video is kind of like impromptu, so like a lot of my videos <laughs> but um the first thing i want to talk about is my experience with getting my nipples pierced oh first of all i'm sorry mother that i'm putting this out there she knows um sorry father anyway um i got my nipples pierced first you're right yeah i know that's right i said first i got them done twice jesus christ so, the first time was in 2014, 2014, like in February. But I got my first done in 2014. The first time I got mine done, I was so scared. Of course, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't really do my research. The only thing I've heard was it takes a long time to heal. That's it. I didn't hear about nothing else. Like I didn't, like I said, I didn't go on YouTube. Nothing. Um. I got one pierce. I got one pierce. I got my left nipple pierce first. And I was like, you know what? We only has one done. I can stop here. Because if you do the other one, I'm, I'm just freaking out. I don't like needles. I don't like the anticipation. So that was that. Um, I had one pierce for about two weeks. <laughs> and the guy I was talking to at the time, hey, he was like, you look weird. Like, just go get the other one done. It looks it looks unbalanced. So I was like, you honestly right. I, I thought the same thing anyway. So I went two weeks later, got the other one done, no problem, because I knew what to expect. Right? I went to the military in 2016. That's when I took my new prisons out. Because of course I had to take all my jewelry out. Earrings, belly, any body jewelry. So yes, I took them out in 2016. I didn't get them repierced until I got them repaired the following year, so I waited a whole year because I went to try to get them done after basic training, and the the guy was like, I don't recommend that because scar tissue, everything, just heal for another year and come back, like, go get it done again. So that's what I did. So the second time, I got both of them done, no problem because I knew what to expect. Now we're going to talk about pain levels. That's what a lot of people... A lot of people want to know does it hurt so your nipple is tough tissue um tough meat <laughs> so you're going to feel sharp pain because it's tearing through all of that um to me on a scale of one to ten it's probably like a six or a seven um, because of how thick the nipple is like and I got a bar so I don't know how it is when you get like the little ring um, I have two bars so that was a thick bar like not thick you know what I mean thicker um, piece of jewelry going through my nipples so it's not a six or seven um but, but I don't think it's that bad because the pain goes away fairly quickly the next day you will be fine literally you might have it's, it's going to be really sensitive. Some people think it's like sore, but mine was sensitive and mine's just sensitive. And um, that's why I said the pain is not that bad because it goes away. Like I took an ibuprofen <laughs> right after I got mine done and went to sleep, woke up, and I was fine. So that leads me to my next piece of advice. I recommend getting them done like at night because you go to sleep <laughs> or whenever you 
get them done like a couple hours before your bedtime put like that some people work at night but um so you can like sleep and like rest and not have to experience like the soreness or the but the tenderness of it so yes so my next thing I want to talk about is how long it takes to heal this depends on you um it could take um up to like a few months six months to a year because it is so the nipple is different you know um skin whatever so yeah that's that on me because you can read like 10 articles and they can tell you a different thing but one thing they won't tell you is under a year so like most of them will tell you that up to a year so it takes a while okay um caring for them you want to get salt water spray or sea salt spray something like that that um sterilizes and cleans uh piercing jewelry um you want to spray on there every night every other day before you go to bed when they're healing you're going to get so scared because you might see a little blood it's going to get crusty like when it's healing because all that stuff is coming out um but don't freak out like that is normal um don't let nobody <laughs> don't let nobody put suck on your nipples okay <laughs> now when they're healing or you know wait this is gonna wait for a little bit wait just wait just wait don't don't do it because you know mm -mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Um, so if your nipple get infected or irritated, those are two different things, infected and irritated. Infected, you need to go to the doctor. You need to go to, first go to a piercer, what they recommend, and go to the hospital. Do not take out your jewelry if it is infected because you will close that infection in your nipple. That is not good. Just like your belly button, do not take it out. You will close the infection in your skin, and that is not good, okay? Keep it in. It's going to hurt. It's infected. So, that's just a piece of advice, but you need to go to get some professional help if your nipple gets infected. If it gets discolored, if it's abnormally swollen, go to a professional. Um, irritated is a whole other thing. Mine's got irritated. It got a little sore, but that's about it. So, I, I did not take it out. One step and one. And the piercer told me to get, um, boil some water, put sea salt in it, let the water cool down. Of course, you don't want to put scalding hot water on your body. Let it cool down to a warm temperature. Put it in a shot glass. <laughs> put it on your nipple and, like, let it sit. And about a week later, I was good. It was just the jewelry that was irritating my, my skin, so. Um, they close fairly fast, so if you're going to... They close fast, so don't take them out. If you don't want that hole to close, don't take them out. They close really, within like a couple of hours, your nipple will be completely shut. So, don't recommend that. Um, another, my last thing I want to touch on that is a frequently asked question on here. Does your piercing make your nipples more sensitive? Yes. Um, to me it does. Um in the shower <laughs> like when you especially when you first get it on so in the shower you're going to be running water down the the nipple and it's going to like mm, like tink, tickle just a little bit because it's very sensitive um if you have a man or a woman that likes to y'all know what y'all do it's going to be very sensitive um i'm not gonna say very some people not that sensitive though some people don't really feel anything but I did, okay. But yeah, um, those are some frequently asked questions that I um, that I just see online about nipple piercings that I want to address in my experience with it. So, but if you have any other questions, please go down in the description box, add me on Instagram or Snapchat. Add me on Instagram because I don't like adding a lot of people on Snapchat. I've been nudes and
yeah add me on instagram and i'll just answer your questions okay but yeah thank you for tuning into my video if you go get yours done please tell me your experience i really want to hear it and i hope you have a great experience um that wraps up my video that wraps up all the advice i can give you for right now um within this time span that i do have so i'm going to end it right there thank you all for watching please subscribe i know this video wasn't it's just information but information is good so Thank you, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.